Hello Taurus. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their true feelings, thoughts, intentions towards you? What do you need to know about them? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Taurus watching and not every Taurus reading will be for you. So let's jump right in for Taurus. Messages, guidance, please, for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know regarding love, regarding their person? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, let's start with uh, what's going on in your connection first. Oh my gosh, if I could just get it together. What is going on? Poor Taurus. Okay, better. What's going on in the connection between Taurus and their person? What do we need to know? The Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy. What's going on for Taurus? I want this one too. Okay, Four of Cups Reverse, Four of Swords. Well, the Emperor Reverse typically cannot get control of a situation. Um, the Emperor Reverse tries to control a situation but isn't able to. They try to bring back structure, stability to a problem or a situation and they can't. Sometimes this could be someone that has an, you know, an ego problem or could be a bit manipulative because they, they're used to getting what they want, the Emperor. Four of Cups Reverse is a card about being open to an idea, renewed interest in something, um, being open-minded. And the Four of Swords is typically reflection, healing, rest. So when I see all of these energies together, I think that someone either is dealing with an Emperor Reverse and is learning how to um, see a way around this problem, uh, opening their mind to a new idea that maybe they were close to before, or they haven't been able to control a problem or control a situation, and so they're really thinking about it. You know, maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe this is just meant a door that's meant to be closed for me to open up another one. Let's see. Let's start with this uh, Emperor Reverse. What do we need to know about this Emperor Reverse? Why is the Emperor Reverse? King of Wands. Yeah, this Emperor wants something, but I don't think they're able to, to, to do it. Tell me more about the Emperor Reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is about a partnership of some sort. And it's funny because the Lovers is here, but then why the Five of Wands? Why the conflict? Can I get one more for the Emperor Reverse? Why is the Emperor... Reverse, why is the Emperor reverse? Three of Wands. Waiting for results, waiting for an outcome. So this could be someone that wants to approach something with the King, like the King of Wands energy here, wants to take action, wants to make something happen regarding a partnership perhaps, regarding following their heart but I think they're being forced to wait I think this emperor reverse is being forced to wait and this is very difficult for them they don't want to wait king of wands is not a patient person tell me about the three of wands tell me about the three of wands ah the four reverse ten of cups reverse yeah they're not able to start. They're not able to be free. They're not able to take a risk. They're not able to get their Ten of Cups. Okay, so why the Four of Cups reverse with the Four of Swords? What's this about, the Four of Cups reverse? 
and the four of swords what do we need to know eight of pentacles reverse why is the four of cups reverse with the four of swords so in this connection six of cups four of cups reverse four of swords what can you tell me tell me about these energies together seven of wands there's obstacles here something's not working seven of wands eight of pentacles there could be something to do here with the past that's a problem tell me about the six of cups hold on put that back there tell me about the six of cups why is the six of cups here why is the six of cups here knight of pentacles queen of cups reverse queen of pentacles reverse same situation some okay taurus i don't know what this is about because i still am not seeing i don't even see another person here this could be all about you or all about the person that you're dealing with this what's currently happening in your connection Tell me about the seven of wands. Hang on. Can you tell me about the seven of wands? Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, six of wands. Someone wants success. They have a goal in mind. They know they want something, but it's almost like an uphill battle. All they're thinking about is the hard part, the challenges. There's challenges to getting what someone wants. Something isn't working. I feel this is creating a lot of frustration because I feel like someone would be, it's almost like this is maybe a dream they've had, an opportunity they've always wanted, something like that. But I feel like their hands are tied. This could be you, this could be your person. What's this Knight of Pentacles? What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is what someone wants. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Okay. The Star Reverse. Yeah. Aquarius Energy, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is something that someone wants but isn't getting. The Star Reverse. And I feel like this is very difficult for them. But they're having to make, like, look at different options. Someone's being forced to look at a different option. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What the hell's going on? Is this, this feels very specific, but to me, it's not making sense right now. <laughs> Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups about? Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone's needing to be strategic. Really think about something. Because I feel like someone has a door that won't open in front of them. And this could be related to a partnership. This could be related to a goal, a dream, a desire that you or someone else has. For some reason, this is a love reading. So I'm guessing there's someone, this door that's closed could be a person or it could be that just things are not working out right now. And it, there's a reason for that because maybe rejection is redirection for you, Taurus. I feel like someone's being made to wait when they want something now. What else do we need to know about this connection? Can I get one more for Taurus and the person that you're thinking about connecting with at this time? What does Taurus need to know? What's going on in this connection that Taurus needs to know? Ten of Swords. So there's something difficult that you're experiencing, Taurus. And it has to do with this connection. Death Reverse. There could be resistance to an ending. Either you don't want something to end or the person you are connecting with doesn't want something to end. Scorpio Energy. Maybe there are delays. Maybe a door should be closing for you to open another one, but that door is taking some time to close. For some reason, this is happening in a connection. So I don't know if some of you are having... Um, some sort of a separation taking place here between you and another person and they're showing up here yeah nine of pentacles reverse you're attached to this in some way so Taurus you're not free of something yet is what I'm getting I feel like you're the emperor reverse you want something but you cannot get it right now 
And I think it's because of an existing connection, either a connection that you have with another person or a third party connection. Okay, so this is making a little bit more sense. So let me grab all these back and I'm gonna, oops, I dropped one. Let's get into your energies, yours and this other person. Can I get some insight please into the energies between Taurus and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Ah, why wouldn't that bend? <laughs> I'm having a, real, a hard time with this deck, which is funny because it actually fits the size of my hands. So it should be simple. Okay, feels better. What else? Seven of Swords again. I heard desperate times call for desperate measures. Hmm. Someone's being forced to think outside the box. Tell me about Taurus and this person's energies. Taurus, I'm going to have your energies on one side and your person's energies on the other. Feel free to flip them if they make more sense to you. Tell me about the energies between Taurus and this other person. Tell me about the energies between Taurus and this other person. Taurus. Yeah, something's not working out for you, Taurus. For Eight of Pentacles, reverse. Four of Swords, reverse. Either something is not working out for you or you've tried to make something work, put an effort into something, and it's not working. Four of Swords, reverse. I feel like you're getting to the point where you're no longer going to be thinking about this or you're going to take some steps, some action here. You're waking up here. Yeah, Ten of Wands. You've been carrying a burden of some sort, but I feel like some of you, there's the Seven of Wands reverse. You don't want to deal with the obstacles anymore or the challenges. You don't want to fight anymore. Tell me about the Four of Swords reverse. Devil reverse, Eight of Swords. You want to be free. Once again, you want to be free. Capricorn energy. Tell me if this is resonating for you, Taurus. You want to be free of some sort of burden. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about? Strength, Leo energy. Yeah, you've been very strong. You have strength, lots of strength. But I feel like what you need more now is courage. Some of you experience a tower, but it's allowing you to manifest something. So this tower could have affected your partnership. There's something here with finances. You're thinking about money, but I, w I don't know why. It's something that it's, it's almost like maybe, you, you, I don't know if you're the breadwinner. Tell me about this other person. The person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? about their energies what do we need to know about their energies the full reverse okay what do we need to know what do we need to know four of wands what do we need to know about this other person what do we need to know about this other person four of pentacles reverse Page of Swords reverse. What's this Four of Pentacles reverse? Before I say what I'm seeing. Some of you are married to this person. Or this person could be married. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Two of Swords reverse. Big conversation. Big. Um, this is someone opening up. Revealing something perhaps. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles reverse. This might not be a nice truth. Six of Cups. Queen of Swords reverse, yeah. Hmm. Some of you, there are children involved with the Six of Cups. 
what is going on towards? I feel like this is a very specific reading. Tell me about the full reverse. The sun. Tell me about the full reverse. Four of Cups. Nine of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups is almost like the opposite of the sun. The Four of Cups is a card about not being interested in something, dissatisfaction, you're not satisfied, not happy, closed off to new opportunities. The sun is about happiness, joy, fulfillment. So I think what this means is that there's someone that's receiving clarity or knows something very clearly with the sun about how unhappy they are or dissatisfied they are. You could be marrying this person. You both are probably in the same boat. Maybe you've had discussions about this, about being free of each other or being free of something and I don't know. I feel like you both are think thinking about the same thing, which is someone's freedom. No longer having to be worried about something, which is the strangest thing. And it could be, you know, that, okay, I'm going to put one more down. I got one more down for this person, one more card for this person. Three of Cups. High Priestess Reverse. Hangman Reverse. Yeah, this is about being free. Being untangled. Or detangled, I guess I should say. The High Priestess Reverse is telling me that it's almost like this is going to happen in a very like, like a secret is revealed or something comes to light that helps someone be detangled. But there's resistance to an ending with Death Reverse again here. And it could be because of finances, five of pentacles, but it doesn't change the fact that there is, it's, it's almost like, this is going to sound crazy, but it's almost like for some of you, you're married to this person and you've talked about separating together. It's, it's conversations you've already had. And neither of you are ignorant of the fact that you're both unhappy. However, there's still resistance to ending this, despite the fact that the truth is clear. Others of you, there's a third party situation here that I feel will come to light and it will bring this topic up of being detached, untangled. Two very different scenarios, but that's what I'm picking up so far. Let's see. Can we get some energies for Taurus and this other person? Get some energies insight into Taurus this person are thinking feeling about each other tell me about Taurus tell me about Taurus difficult decisions sweet dreams yeah your dreams are becoming reality you have an idea in mind a goal in mind but a difficult decision is ta attached to that what else new beginnings yes exactly okay tell me about this other person what do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Burning passion. What do we need to know about this other person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? Happy ending. What do we need to know? Secret admire and restoring balance patiently waiting. Um, I think this person might be wanting to fix things. Um, or they could be I don't know. I really hope that it's that they want to fix things because otherwise I'm seeing like another person here, like a secret affair or a secret desire that they don't share with you, but pretend that everything's fine, which I don't like that energy. What else do we need to know for Taurus? Despair. What else do we need to know for Taurus? Message of concern. Yeah, I think you're going to be delayed in your dream or your goal. And it's going to not, you don't want to hear it. Tell me about this other person. Courthouse. Tell me about this other person. 
Yeah. So this person, unexpected income, they're worried about finances, but I think you are too. And there could be some sort of legal situation, official situation, something related to work for some of you that is tied up with this other person. They could be waiting for a final decision from you. Oh my gosh, what's going on with my deck? They could be waiting for a final decision from you or some sort of official document or official decision from like a government office to be like declared. But I think some of you are dealing with the person that's really concerned about the financial part of things. Tell me more. Tell me more about this other person. Tell me more about this other person. We need to know about them. Those are opposite energies. I think this person pretends that everything is okay or says one thing, but they're really thinking another. They're, yeah, they're, this person's thinking about moving forward, challenges ahead. Actually, I think this person's just anxious because whatever this is about Taurus they don't have this person that you're dealing with does not have the control tell me about Taurus so they're nervous but they don't act like they're nervous yeah you have some sort of um intuitive ab ability or intuition is very strong right now about where you've been where you are and where you've headed yep I think you're tapping into a different side of you um I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like this dream that you've had is probably a dream you've had since you were young. Or perhaps you're trying to be more carefree, more laid back, find the humor in things, not be so serious. I feel like you're learning a lot here and ready for a new beginning with like a new fresh state of mind. I screwed up on your end here. What else? I feel trapped. Okay. Some of you feel like you screwed up everything for yourself and are trapped in a situation. What about the person Taurus is dealing with, has dealt with? We need to talk. Okay, so they want to talk. What else do we need to know about them? What else do we need to know? I'm ready to open up. Yeah, they want to tell you something. Um, maybe they're gonna, it's all my fault at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they just want to talk things out. I think this person pretends that, like they're ready to be free. And if they are the person that you're wanting to be divorced from, they pretend to go along with what you're saying, but they don't really feel that way. Or they're not telling you everything about that. Maybe they'll be like, yeah, let's divorce. But deep down they're thinking I need money or something like that. So be very careful, Taurus. What a weird reading. If this resonated for you, please let me know down in the comments. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to know um, more or if you want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.